we uh, changed our plan here slightly. We uh, put the uh, mahogany on the outside and the cherry on the inside. We did thin the cherry just slightly. And then we also, instead of bending from here at this spot, we moved it down to right here, had this clamped off here and bent it. And that worked a lot better because it extended the bend just slightly. And now we're ready to start on the second one here, gluing it back together. And she's got the glue. I got the glue. Okay, well, we have both tillers complete now. And also, we've got the tiller bar on here. As you'll notice, these are tilted in on the starboard side, or this tiller is. And there's Kathy. And we go across to the port side. And it's tilted in as well. And there's back here at the back, there's nine feet in between the two. It's a little more apparent that there's a curve in it. Quality videography here. And that's what it's supposed to look like, only it's supposed to be attached to the rudders, which are over here right now, and we're working on them to get the uh, lashing slots okay. locations made. All right, we've uh, shaped the rudders, got them glassed, and now we're gonna go out, take the pattern, and uh, make these slots in the stem post. Stern stem. Stern, yeah, the stern stem post. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and that's that one. There's the other one. The belt sander works pretty good for this. If you have marked down to what layer you're going to be taking it down to and then doing a little bit of hand sanding. The uh, slots we're putting in the stern post, <laughs> whatever it is. <laughs> stern post. <laughs> yeah, it's a stern post. Anyhow, it's going well. Marking, it's the the holes are supposed to be drilled at five eighths inch. We're cutting. I mean, I'm marking a half inch here and three quarters back here. Drilling a hole. Drilling a hole. And then using the uh, multi-tool to buzz my way through there. Still gotta do that. And it's, yeah, and I have to take the chisel. Well, I'm, I'm using uh, the Japanese pull saw, which is one of these right here, to come down the one and a half, two millimeters into the stem and then we'll round that off with some sandpaper so that the lashings won't hit each other. Anyhow, that's where what we're doing. I've already that one just wasn't deep enough. I just had to make it a little deeper. Of course I lost my mallet in the process. Okay. Two deep rigs. Sandy block.
we have a little sand inside here. Well, got an old belt sander, belt sander belt. We ripped off a, a piece there to get the ends of it. There we go. Cutting off the excess fiberglass cloth off of the rotors. And this is the way we do it. Here's a utility knife with a blade, long blade. It usually comes off relatively easily. Unless I left a big glob of epoxy there. Just left the sand the edges when we get this off of it. Yeah. Until you get it sanded. Be Don't careful. It. Yeah, because it's a sharp <laughs> edge. It'll make you bleed. My, oh, that's it. Smart, Rex. Smart. <laughs> Don't put your weight on it, Nemo. Uh, let's see. I lost the paper and the uh, tape. Okay, the idea here is to try and mark this. We'll see whether I'm successful. There goes the paper again. <clears throat> okay, yeah, that besides that, I gotta do <laughs> it from the other it. side, yeah. Because <laughs> it says, rudder here, stern here. That means I gotta turn around that way. Can you see through it or not? I can't see through it good enough. <laughs> so I guess I'll take it over here. Okay, we got the old rudder all duct tape onto the, the hull of the boat. And I'm trying to make sure that I hit somewhere in the middle of this thing here. I didn't get the bat bam bam around either. For marking the holes. I probably could do this. <laughs> I just want to, since it's all together here and it's upside down, I'm going to use, if I could just see. Need a light so you see through it. Yeah. That looks about right. How about a little. That's not doing a thing. Not doing a thing. Let's see. That looks about right. What's this side look like? If I can pick it up. That looks about right. Now if I just had some tape. The old babber. That's a hole. There are seven holes on the stern post and six on the rudder. I need a little backup on the rudder here, if you'd hold it, because this is a little looser. Just push against it. Okay. That was a miss. 
sort of, a little high, right on the line, so come back this way, Rex. Okay, now let me tear this off and see if I hit it in the general area where I wanted to. Oh my gosh, look perfect. perfect. And tape the little pattern here, can you see that? Probably not. Nope. nope, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Yeah, okay, I'll bring it down here. Out the pattern. Stir it on that side and the rudder. rudder on the other. And we're going to drill into the area where we eat epoxy, strictly epoxy and fibers. I'm going to take the rudder back off here and take it in and use it on the drill press just because I can. Can't take the boat in there and turn it over to put it on the drill press for some reason or another. So, hopefully I'll get it in straight. Okay, I'm sure you don't want to watch me do five more of those. So, like I said, we'll drill these on the uh, drill press. And I'll show you the end result when we have the uh, rudder laced on in just a few minutes. We hope. Uh, oh, wait a minute, that was my seat I took away. <laughs> forgot to video this. Anyhow, I started up here at the top on the inside on the stern and there's a knot up there on the other, on the starboard side Over here. of that hole. And anyhow, I came around and stuck it in between here, gave it to Kathy, she pulled it up tight and then she stuck it back through that hole I turned around and stuck it back through the center there. She stuck it through the second one, etc., etc., etc. Anyhow, I'll let you watch finishing up everything but me doing the knot because it's going to look terrible. And if you see, you notice here, the, the lines, these holes are offset from each other. I think I. Okay, I stick it back through there for her, she grabs it, runs it through this hole. So they're not actually rubbing on each other, they're side by side. But that's it. Perfectly. I don't know. I think if it were me, I would go for another. It is me. Come think of it. We haven't drilled that one over there yet, but to make it just a little easier, a little more might be handy. But anyhow, once we get done here, we'll show you how it swings in the wind. Once again. We uh, tied a knot in the other side going through this top the hole stern. that's on the stern post. The There's the knot. Kathy's over there. I gave her the hard job. She's got to keep threading this thing through all the little holes. I just get to do it down the center here. I 
say these are nice little hinges. I like these things. And when they go in here, this hole is offset from that one over here. Same thing going down. And for the drawing they show, this being one and five eighths inch, I believe it is. Two inches and it took about I've got 45 inches of string here which gives me a little extra slack for pulling. I stick it through the center, she takes it back and puts it back through the stern post on that side. Um, you got a twist in that one, huh? Not that the, well, these aren't the lines we're going to end up with. We'll put new ones on. These are have been used before. Okay, that looks better. Pull them tight. And uh, they say an eighth inch, well they say a three millimeter hole and three millimeter line. I found out that's a little tight. I think everybody would agree with me. You can't do it. So we made it just a little bigger. 564 something like that. Fun, I don't remember what the number was. Once you get all the holes drilled and everything, it's relatively quick to get it the, get the hinge completed. And according to what I've read in uh, various articles about warrams, these things will last five or six years. Some of them longer than that. Of course, some of them use heavier latches too. But anyhow, if you don't need, if you're tired of buying hinges, this is the way to go. did two granny nuts. Granny nuts. I actually did a figure eight knot over there, but I figured I'd get the granny knot tighter. But, okay. We'll show it swinging in a minute. Well, here are the rudders installed temporarily on here. And I will take the bar off before I start swinging the rudder because it's not attached. But you can see that the, the tiller handles lean in. This and if it weren't tilted that away, it would lean that away. Okay. Now I'm going to take the bar off. Okay, Kathy has the helm here. Go ahead and swing that away a little bit. Now swing the other way. It ain't going to go that far. We, we won't be turning that far. About the edge of the cabin, there's as far as it's going to go that way so let me get in closer here on the the hinges 
All right, just move it a little bit. Well, it's moving, believe it or not, but it's really hard to tell. Okay, give it a, just a back and forth a couple of times here. I got it down at the bottom. So you can see that the rudder is moving. That's a very smooth movement. That's all, folks. <laughs>